Hi, it is my pleasure to present the Journalism and Public Interest Award to Mr. William Dean Singleton, my publisher, leadership mentor, and friend. My only regret is that I can't be here in person. The first time I heard of Dean Singleton was sometime in the mid 1990s. I was the managing editor of the Boston Globe, and I remember a shudder going through the ranks of the top editors standing around the news desk one evening. They were reading a speculative story that Dean Singleton was interested in buying a suburban competitor of ours called the Quincy Patriot Ledger. I had never seen such concern or even fear at the mention of a competitor. After all, the Boston Globe had survived its own newspaper war and had a spirited competition with the tabloid Boston Herald. What's this, what's this deal with this Dean Singleton guy, I asked. He's going to make us spend a lot of money to keep our readers, they replied. Six years later, he hired me to run the Denver Post, and I never forgot the first thing I learned about Dean Singleton. He likes to win. So when he said he wanted to make the Denver Post into one of the best metropolitan newspapers in America, I believed him. I signed on and we did. He was the best kind of publisher, a stickler for detail. He read everything that we published, backed our plays, and was always looking for ways to get into the newspaper the things that he knew. We've gone to war together, celebrated great highs, and even cried together when we realized the great newspaper ride was over. I often refer to Dean as one of the last great media titans, along with Rupert Murdoch. The newspapers that he rebuilt under the new Media News Group banner have gone on to win Pulitzer Prizes. The Salt Lake Tribune, the Long Beach Post-Telegram, the Oakland Tribune, and of course the Denver Post. They may not be as mighty as they once were, but they wouldn't even be here without Dean Singleton. I don't know what you've heard about Dean, but I can tell you that he always has been about the independent pursuit of the news. He's fond of saying, he may not have always agreed with me, but he always supported me. That's as good as it gets with a publisher. Dean has also been a great leader in our industry, serving as the chairman of the board of the Associated Press and the Newspaper Association of America, made up of the most powerful publishers in the industry. He has been an advisor to Presidents George W. Bush and Barack Obama, and he has been a friend and counselor to Governors Roy Romer, Bill Owens, Bill Ritter, and John Hickenlooper, and a whisperer to mayors from Wellington Webb to Hick to Michael Hancock. Many of you by now know his story. He was a farm boy who raised livestock to cut his teeth as a businessman, got his first newspaper job at 15, and bought one at 21. He hooked up with a Texas businessman named Joel Albritton and was running his newspaper division by the time he was 28. Then in 1983, he met a man old enough to be his grandfather, and together they built Media News Group into one of the most profitable newspaper companies in the country. I once asked Dean what was his greatest gift. He said, getting other men to give him their money. Now, Dean has not always had days like this. Yes, he has a couple of honorary doctorates and a bunch of other awards, but he was once dreaded as a ruthless and penny-pinching overlord when it came to his newspapers. Over time, though, his ideas about clustering news properties and centralizing production and other business functions caught the attention of the industry and became the norm. His work on behalf of the state has been equally impressive. While he is a proud native of Graham, Texas, he is a quintessential Coloradan. He has used his editorial platform to support Denver International Airport, the 16th Street Mall, the Colorado Convention Center and Hotel, Coors Field, and the preservation of public lands throughout Colorado. All of this have been game changers for our state. He has been a benefactor of the Denver Center of the Performing Arts and the National Sports Center for the Disabled. That's a life of dedication, influence, and service. Dean, thank you. Mostly, thanks for having the vision with Dick Scudder to cobble together a string of ailing and dying newspapers 
into the second largest newspaper company in America and for plucking me out of Boston to find a new home. It is my great honor and privilege to present you with the Journalism and Public Interest Award. Congratulations, Dean.